thank the maker. This oil bath is going to feel so good. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. You know, when I first started reading the Bible, especially as a skeptic, and um, I first read the Bible when I was in prison, and I, I read it cover to cover. But I was a skeptic, and one of the first things I would notice is that the Bible seemed to be contradicting itself over and over. And the more I would read it, it would say one thing here, and then it would completely go against that point in another area. And this is before I understood the Bible. And one of the first things you have to understand about the Bible is context reading in context. For example, if somebody out of just anger is slapping you and they slap you and then they leave and the Bible would teach us in this instance to turn the other cheek and let it go. But say somebody was to come up to you and slap you and repeatedly try to slap you and try to even kill you. Would you still be um, told to turn out the cheek or would you be told to defend yourself? I believe in a situation like this that it would be time to defend yourself. Also, there's, there's a time when there's a rich man that comes up to Jesus and asks Jesus what he has to do to be saved. And, and um, you know, Jesus ends up telling him to sell all his possessions and to follow him. But then we see in the, in the story of Job, when Job um, loses his family and all his possessions, God actually blesses him and, and gives him all of his possessions back and even more. So if God was to give Job all these things, but then again, tell somebody else to sell all their things, which one is right? Well, it's all about context and it's all about different times for different people. Everybody doesn't take the same medicine. Everybody doesn't eat the same food. Everything that's good for one person isn't good for another person. And everything that's good for one time isn't good for another time. You know, um, Jesus set the rule in the beginning. As the Father did, he told everybody through, through Moses that we are not to work on the Sabbath day. But then when God comes down in human form as Jesus Christ, he is seen healing somebody. And the Pharisees, they uh, approach Jesus and tell him and, you know, accuse him for breaking his own law, telling him that you're not supposed to be healing or working or doing anything on the Sabbath day. But this is where Jesus lets people know that we have to use our common sense and we have to have discernment. And that's what the difference is when you're reading the Bible, when you understand the context of who he's talking to and you read around the chapter what has happened before, what is being said and what happened after, who he's speaking to, what type of person he was speaking to and why. And, this, and once you learn these things, you'll understand why he says one thing at one point and then will go against it another point because there's different times for different things. This verse is in the Bible that says seeking wisdom is a very good thing. And then there's other verses that will tell you that um, someone who seeks after um, wisdom is a fool. Well, they are talking about different kinds of wisdom. And they're talking about a different want for wisdom. It's okay to look for wisdom and you're also looking for godliness. But to look for only wisdom and not godliness is different. So there's always different instances where these verses can come into play. And this is why it's so important for us to understand context. And also to remember that the words that we're reading in English are not the exact translations as they would be being read in ancient Hebrew or in Greek. So when we translate a word to English, sometimes we can only get as close as we possibly can to the word. But in, in uh, ancient Hebrew, words have multiple meanings and have different depth to them. So sometimes, you know, unless you've um, been studying ancient Hebrew and unless you've been studying Greek, a lot of these words are only the best and closest things that we can get to the word that we're looking for. So understanding these things, understanding context, understanding that different people need to hear different things at different times, and also understanding that translations have been made, this definitely settles out 
my um, uncomfortableness I had with what appeared to be contradictions in the Bible. Something to think about. Do take good care of yourself.